Trey, it looked like there were several times today where, where it was fourth and short, third and short, especially fourth down, where you were kind of waving toward the sideline, trying to get every, you know, trying to tell the coaches, we want to go for this. It seemed like y'all kind of had some confidence there up front today. Was, was that – how much – I don't want to say different is that, but how much different do y'all feel right now with that group? Uh, I'd just say there's a lot of uh, <clears throat> good synergy in our group. Uh, we knew that – when we get that close, we got to get it. You know, a short yardage situation, Coach Chaney harps on it. Uh, coming into the game, that was our plan initially as well. So what we saw, I mean, we got that close. I mean, it was a couple of inches, especially on the goal line for a touchdown. I mean, come on, man, we got to go get that. We knew we had it. So uh, just the coaches having confidence in us, that speaks volumes to them too. We're just very thankful for that. But, you know, it's that close. We got to get it. All right. Uh, Austin Price. Trey, how much – fun was it just to get out there today and, and know that, you know, the running backs had no zero yardage runs, like, or no negative yardage runs. Everything was a positive. Wow. Talk about the, the, the running style that they have and then just your all's effort as a group today along the offensive line. Yeah. Um, you know, ever since I've been here, we've always had great running backs, uh, not only just good players, but great guys as well. Uh, they would come to work every day and, you know, you want to, you want to go to war for a guy like that. And for us to finally have some continuity at the offensive line position, a lot of confidence coming in, um, you know, it's our number one job, duty, and goal to make sure those guys stay clean, to make sure we can make their days easier. So uh, being quite frank, it's a great feeling to, to see them have a little bit of success finally and to see this team have a lot of success with the run game. All right, Mike and then Wes. Yeah, Trey, what was it like to, to finally get to play in a game with, with Cade Mays on the same offensive line with you? and? And what was it like this week once you guys got the news that he was eligible? Yeah, uh, it, it's, it was cool finally to uh, play with him. Uh, obviously, he's on the opposite side, but, uh, you know, just joking with him uh, in between series and stuff. But, uh, you know, Kay's one of my best friends. You know, I think everyone on the offensive line, just speaking pretty honestly, they're, they're all my best friends. So uh, just having him out there, I mean, it was real cool. When I found out he was eligible, I really didn't I – I didn't even, like, talk to him. It was just sort of like I saw it on Twitter and Cooper had said something when I walked by in the locker room. So – that was pretty exciting, but it was awesome to have him out here. Trey, I know you've been a guy who's, you know, every game you've ever played in, you feel confident, you feel like your team's got a chance to win. Um, but now you all have won eight in a row, and you're going down uh, to play Georgia. How, how much more confidence do you think this team has that it can really go in there and compete in a game like that? Uh, we don't really look like that. I mean, every game that we have coming up is our biggest game of the year. So Coach Pruitt always teaches us, you know, one at a time, one or no. So we're not looking at it any differently. We just have a job to do. At the end of the day, we have to prepare properly. We have to come every day, go to work. You got to correct what we did wrong because we had a lot of mistakes on the field today. Uh, but when our time comes, you know, we'll be ready to play a ball game. Either way it goes, we're going to play our butts off. I know you'd probably rather have y'all played a perfect game today, but you know, maybe the quarterback got hit a few too many times, a couple false starts here and there. But, but, but to have that many sort of little mistakes in the game and, and still win by, by, I think, 23 points, what does that say about where y'all have come? Yeah, it's very promising. Uh, it is frustrating. I feel like I'm frustrated myself while I'm playing. Uh, but, you know, it just sort of speaks volumes that if we minimize our mistakes, how much better can we actually be at the end of the day? You know, how, how, much, how much more can we differentiate the score at the end of the day if we actually clean up our mistakes? So that's just something we have to keep doing better. I mean, you're not going to get a perfect football game. I don't think anyone's ever played a perfect football game. Plus, they had like one pass. But, you know, we just got to come back to work and just get better every day. Eric Kane. Hey, Trey, you guys were 6 of 13 on third downs, 4 of 4 on fourth downs. What made you guys be so successful today in those situations, kind of when your back was against the wall? Uh, just having a mentality, we're going to go get it. Um, I think a lot of those fourth downs, let's correct me if I'm wrong, were a lot of short yardage situations, which were really key coming into the game based on how they play and how they line uh, before they get going. So we knew the game plan. We knew what we had to do. So we just had a lot of confidence. I mean, I'm talking about Coach Chaney, you know, Coach Friend. I mean, Coach Chaney's a hell of a call coach, a hell of a play caller. You know, I have support him 100%. Obviously, I'm out there. But when you believe in what the person is telling you, and you know it's going to work. You know, it's a lot easier. Uh, Mike? Trey, what, uh, Coach Pruitt mentioned that you guys went through kind of a ball lock experience today. How, how different was that, but how nice was it to, to still kind of have that experience that you're so used to? What type of experience? I'm sorry. Uh, Coach Pruitt said you guys did a ball lock sort of thing today. Oh, okay. Would you like to, to have that still? Yeah, um, <laughs> when we were on the bus, I was sort of just anxious to see 
uh, what we actually did have planned and intended uh, to do before the game. Uh, but it was nice, you know, I want to say I do miss the fans a lot. Uh, the energy Vol Nation brings before the game, you know, it's unparalleled, just being honest with you. Uh, but it was nice to still sort of have that groove, that same tradition and that same feeling before you actually get a kneeling. It was pretty comforting. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else have any more questions for Trey? Yeah, I guess, Trey, one more. If um, It seems like y'all are, are rotating guys in and out up front a lot. And, and you know, normally you see that from a defensive line in the game, not an offensive line. How how much different is that? And how is it is it difficult to keep rhythm sometimes? Uh, not really. Um, you know, I mean, it's the SEC. You know, <laughs> we're playing all SEC games. It's a very physical game, obviously. Um, you know, we got plays where you get banged up. I mean, hell, we're all banged up. But – you know, it's not really as much as that. We all know our role, our duty, you know, the play call. We know our assignments. So it's just next man up mentality at the end of the day. Um, you know, any guy that's prepared to go in there, the coaches have faith and confidence that they can get the job done. Uh, so we just work as a unit. It's never really an issue. All right, uh, Mike Wilson. Uh, Trey, another thing Coach Pruitt talked about was, was not being a program that has fear. And that was kind of in the context of going forward on those fourth downs. How much do you like playing for a coach that just wants to coach and have players who play without fear like that? Yeah, you got to love it, man. Uh, the mentality he brings, um, you know, it's infectious because <clears throat> it spreads throughout the team. A certain mindset, um, a certain way you handle your business, a certain way you look and attack things. I mean, it's infectious and it's contagious. It's everywhere. Not COVID, but Coach Pruitt's mentality. <laughs> but uh, Kelly Ann? Hey, Trey, um, being back in Neyland, I know it was at limited capacity today, but I asked Theo Jackson if it still kind of sounded loud, and he said it surprisingly was. So what was that atmosphere like in Neyland, even with the limited amount of fans? Yeah, Neyland was awesome. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's always just comforting just to be back at Neyland Stadium and playing a game. Um, just being there today, you know, like, like we uh, touched on earlier, excuse me, uh, we're talking about how we didn't have the vol walk, but we still walked that path and that groove. Just sort of getting that old, you know, feel – of the way things usually go, um, it just sort of helps you as a player because it's familiar. Uh, it's just something I can't really describe it, but just seeing the fans and kneeling, you know, there were a couple who were getting pretty loud. So any support that we could get, you know, we love everybody who came out today and we appreciate them. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Uh, David. David Evans, sorry. <laughs> uh, Trey. Just right now, when you look at this team uh, from top to bottom, how would you describe what you see? Eric, can you talk about – you know where you guys um, – I see a lot of potential. Um, I think this is probably one of the – I'm not going to speak too early, uh, but I think it's one of the better teams I've been on. So, I've been at Tennessee uh, in terms of finding a way how to win, you know, and coming through in the clutch. Um, but I think it's a testament to our coaching right now. Uh, them teaching us, you know, to go through hardships, adversities, keep fighting, keep going. And what they've been telling us over these years, you know, is finally starting to translate a little bit on the field. In terms of, like, younger talent, I think the future here is very bright. Uh, Joe Rexford? Yeah, following up a little bit on that, Trey, in terms of some of the younger talent on this offensive line, what are you seeing from – some of these guys. And, and is it fun for you guys to kind of rotate different people in, do these jumbo and un imbalanced line packages and things like that? I mean, how much do you guys enjoy playing that physical brand and getting a lot of people involved? Yeah, um, <laughs> I can't really speak to it because a lot of times Cooper, uh, Riley, Locklear, you know, they're on different sides usually. Um, but it's always fun just seeing those two, you know, go back and forth about where to line up, where we're going here, what's this play going. But just understanding that they bring a level of physicality, uh, a little level of just, you know, they care about the game. They care about making their blocks, you know. It, it's fun. And I know it messes with other teams a lot because that's a, that's a lot of meat to handle, to be honest. Up front with the offensive line, then a heavy package as well. It's a lot of stuff coming at them, so it makes our jobs a lot better. All right, Wes? Trey, I know y'all you, you, haven't seen any film yet, but it looked like on both of those Eric Gray touchdowns, Wanye kind of covered a lot of ground and, and made a key block there. How much different has he been this past week? You know, he's looks like he's kind of gotten in better shape again. He's kind of gotten a rhythm back. He, he kind of looks like himself again a little bit. Yeah, uh, Wanye just keeps working hard, you know, and just keeps getting better and better. Um, 
you know, coming into the game, uh, you know, we need our tackles to play well. And I, th- I thought they played outstanding today. Uh, but, you know, just over time, we're all going to get better. You know, the fast-paced tempo is a lot to handle, <laughs> just being honest. Thank you.